Hey, before we get into this video, if you like content like this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe so I can keep the content going and it can reach other people who may find this interesting as well. So what do we have here? So there's an article currently going viral that was posted by The Sun and is sparking quite the conversation in the black community. So in the article, there's a black woman who is married with children. She wrote, my husband and I haven't been on a trip out of the country for years, while he goes every year with his best friend. His reason for going with his best friend is because they both go to attend sporting events. This year, my husband told me I could go with him and his friends since they were visiting a new destination. He paid for my ticket and everything else since I'm a stay-at-home mom and I have no job, of course. And the kids were left with my mom, which is the grandma. However, when I found out that he had booked first class for himself and his male best friend while I got economy seating, I just couldn't hold my tongue. So he booked first class for him and his male best friend who he goes on a trip with every year. He decides to invite his wife on the trip this year, but he books her economy. Girl, let me finish. I confronted him about it, and he at first refused to discuss. Then when the argument got heated, he yelled, I paid for your ticket. Isn't that enough? Then he kept on going about how I should stop acting like I was royalty. Er, this is your wife. Obviously, she is royalty. She's the mother of your kids. You married her. And that if I come to think about it, even economy is fine for me since I technically don't work anyway. So you're providing meal, but you're throwing it in your wife's face abusive tactics i cried because of what he said but decided just to not go all together he changed his tone and then started begging me just to go with what he planned but i declined i went to pick the kids up from my mom's house and he came back three hours later huffing and puffing about what happened his friend later sent me a text calling me entitled and said this was the reason why he didn't want my husband to take me with them and i just proved his point I did not respond, but I blocked him since he's gotten increasingly rude over the past few months. My husband said I keep crying about being excluded, and this is what happens when he finally decides to include me. Baby, this is absolutely a case of the download husband. So, first of all, Download men pick their women very strategically. They're very smart and calculated in that way. So first of all, they're going to pick a woman who is typically very submissive. She doesn't have a lot of opinion. She kind of, you know, bows gracefully to her man. Remember, the purpose of a beard is to conceal and hide one's sexual orientation. So he needs a woman that's very pretty, very feminine, very dainty, you know. All the things that make him feel like a man or make him seem or present himself as he's a powerful man. He's a successful man. He got what every man wants. He had his kids. She's a stay-at-home mom. Obviously, he has a pretty decent job. He provides for her and the kids. And he can afford to go on trips every year with his male best friend, who was his boyfriend, allegedly. But, girl, let's get to it. Your husband is a down low man. Your husband has been going on a trip with the same man for, I believe he said, like 10 years. He does not take you anywhere. You've never been on a trip. You've never really questioned what they do on the trips. You're the perfect beard, you know? Let's just be very honest. You're what most down men would prefer in a the wife. They've been going on trips for how long and you don't really even know what they go to do. You've never asked them where they go, what are some of the places you go, what are some of the events you attend, can I see pictures, can I FaceTime you, can you send me videos? We're not here to blame a woman, but sometimes you gotta use your common sense, girl. Discernment, a woman's intuition, something. Something tells you that this man is not heterosexual, this man is not for you, or at the bare minimum, this man is cheating or doing something. Who is this best friend? So the thing with the down low man is... He's already accomplished what he wants to get from you. He's already gotten what he got from you. He's already married you, so you're his beard, you're his cover-up. You're already making him look like he's a heterosexual man. He can bring you to work events, flaunt you, 
and his kids like he's a family man. He can flaunt to social media and the public like he's a family man. I provide for my wife and my kids. I'm a provider. I'm an all-around American alpha male, right? So the next step in being a beard is playing your role and staying in your place. You don't ask me questions. You don't get involved in my personal business. You only know what I tell you. You are here to look good on my arm. And to raise my kids because, you know, Donald Mimi still want kids as well. He finally decides to invite her to one of his trips with his male best friend. They never mentioned whether the male best friend has a wife. Does he have any kids? Does he have a girlfriend? Was he bringing a woman on the trip? I can assure you that the male best friend is a gay man. And it's probably an yeah, openly gay man. It's not another download man. Because if it was another download man, they could bring their families together. They could all stay in one big house. And they could still sneak around and do what they wanted to do on a family vacation. You know, if they wanted to do that type of download thing. He books first class for him and his male best friend. But flies his wife economy. He doesn't want you around the male best friend. He doesn't want you guys to have a lot of interaction. He definitely doesn't want you guys to have any type of conversation, really. He really seems like he doesn't want to be seen with you. Um, He wants to spend quality time with the male best friend. That is his man. That's his boyfriend. He does not want you interfering with their quality one-on-one time. They only get it a couple times a year. When you confronted him about having to be in economy while they were in first class, he got enraged because who are you to question me about me and my man? That's why he got mad. This is a trip me and my man take. You're lucky that I'm even inviting you and I'm only inviting you so that you can shut up. So don't worry about what me and my man are doing. This is the down low brother. Her deciding not to go and him begging her to go. He had to do that. He had to play the husband role and make it seem like he really wanted you to be there. That man was happy that you weren't going. If anything, he did that for you not to go. I will say you deciding not to go was a big mistake on your part. I would have went. First of all, he would have upgraded me the first time. Why did he think so small of you to even believe that would be okay? Do you have any standards for this man? What man who really loved and was proud of his wife would want her to be in the economy while he was in first class? Wouldn't you feel less of a man? Later on, the male best friend texts her and confronts her, calling her spoiled and said that that is the main reason he doesn't want her on the trip. First of all, that is this man's boyfriend. That is his lover. He pillow talks to this man about everything. They are in on this together. He went back and told this man about the conversation that you and him had, which is extremely inappropriate. What happens between the husband and the wife should have stayed in the house. But that is his man. You are just the beard. You're really the outsider. To be honest. And I'm sorry. You're really the outsider. They're in on that together. What would make him so comfortable to even text his best friend's wife something like that? What man would be okay with his best friend disrespecting his wife? You know? Discernment, discernment, discernment. This is unfortunate, but I do believe, just like everyone else in the comment section, everyone who has been sharing this viral post, that this lady's husband is in a downward relationship with another man, and that is their annual trip. He is whining and dining this man. He is flying this man out. He paid for this man's first class. I'm pretty sure he sponsors the whole trip and treats this man like royalty. He pillow talks with this man. He confides in this man also. This is a relationship. Baby, the download men have it going on. They never seem to amaze me, girl. They get clever and more clever by the day, child. You need to understand that the loyalty of a download man is to no one but himself and his situation, child. He's only loyal to keeping his secret. And getting what he wants. They're selfish. But ma'am, the evidence is right in front of you. It's up to you what you do with it. This is a man who obviously has no desire to come out the closet. He has no desire to be honest with his wife. He loves the arrangement that they are in. And he will carry that out. I've already told y'all a lot of down women will never come out. They'll take it to the grave. And if she allows herself to be a beard, he will continue to do it. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you next time.